Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Got a very full day of adventures and traveling. First I need gas, then I gotta pick up Tyler, and then we are on our way. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. Here comes Tyler out of Bojangles. We are en route to a little place called Hawkins, Indiana. But not in reality, actually we're heading to the greater Atlanta area. We got about a two hour drive, so we're just cruising right along. And the purpose of this is to check out the filming locations of a relatively new show that is gaining a lot of popularity on the internet and on Netflix. You've seen it, right? Hey, stranger, how are things? Uh, uh, Tyler Evans, everybody. Welcome to beautiful Bucks County. Straight ahead is downtown. We're entering into Jackson. And this looks almost identical as it did in the TV show. So if you've never seen the show Stranger Things, stop the video now or after the video, go watch the eight episodes of the TV show. It's basically, if you like 80s films, Poltergeist, Aliens, E.T., what else would you compare it to? Uh, definitely a little Firestarter in there. Firestarter? I think maybe uh, a little Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Maybe some Night of the Creeps kind of feel. Night of the Creeps. Stand by me. Stand definitely by me. stand by me. The Goonies. Yeah. If it, you like those things, if you like 80s nostalgia yeah. and filmmaking and those kind of movies, go watch Stranger Things. Now, let's start the tour. This street corner was used as the general store. The interesting thing is this Western Union sign can be seen in the TV show, as well as this Radio Shack sign. And that's where Winona Ryder worked and ran inside to buy a telephone and also bought the lights for the interiors of the house. In reality, it's called Jackson Drug, but if you look closely, you can see where the other lettering, when they change the name, still is. You can see how it's kind of busted up and the wood is shredded. This is where Winona Ryder would have parked. It wasn't a handicapped space back in the 80s or in Indiana. She walked right through these plants, then right into this door to buy a telephone. Right there to the left of that pillar is where the cash register was. And the camera would have been facing towards us down near that pharmacy. And you could see those weird beige and reddish pillars in the scene. Here's a photo of the Radio Shack store window in the TV show. They left these stickers right here. So there's a display window, so when they start to film, they can just rip these stickers out, put all those old school 80s TVs and phones in the display. I don't know, even the even the freaking lights inside look exactly the same. Yeah, I know, if you look at the show, the lights in there on the top of the roof look identical. Jonathan and Nancy were walking down this way when she sees the movie theater who had been spray painted by Steve and his buddies. Mm -hmm. They wrote some derogatory terms on top of the marquee, the theater is right there. They both would have ran right across the street and then she would have stopped basically right about here staring up at the marquee in complete shock. They would have built the marquee right up here and what I find interesting there was a ticket booth sitting here and you could see there are definite rusted remnants of the ticket booth right there on the ground. And if you head around the back of the theater is the infamous alley and check this out rental solutions that can be seen in the episode when they turn the corner to go in the alley, still there, looks identical as it did in the show. She walks right down this alley and she sees that they are spray painting something else on this exact door. And it's cool because that little white indentation sign mark is in the shot, as well as this power box. And she slaps Steve right there in front of those stairs. Well done, you. And to make it even more dramatic, Jonathan basically beats the snot out of Steve right in here. And check this out. There are two filming markers still on the ground. The tape is still on the ground there, there, and there, marking the actor's spots. That's insane. X does truly mark the spots. It's a little Stranger Things memento for my wallet. There's also a scene where Jonathan is arguing with his mom about the funeral and you can see the courthouse in the shot. And if you watch that episode closely, you will see this vapor shop is in the TV show. That's supposed to be set in 1983. They did not have vaping back then, but they just left that up. And you can see it if you watch the TV show, if you look very closely. 
driving about 30 miles up the road to the next spot. Should be a good one. Directly in front of us is the water tower for the elementary school that was used as Hawkins Middle School. So this was the gym where they had the kiddie pool. They put all the salt in there and then like 11 was like a floating around. It was right inside there. And look at the awning up there. You can still see from filming where it says Hawkins Middle School. That's insane. I'm standing up on this bar by the entrance to the gym. The doors are locked. But if you look in the window, there's that tiger mural that they're both sitting and talking in front of. And they're arranging a plan to kill the monster. And if you look through this window, you can see the wooden gym seats where a lot of the scenes happen over there to the left. And there's the gym floor. The interiors were filmed inside this building. A lot of stuff from the show was built on sound stages, but not here. This is where it happened. And on the same property, just a little bit of a ways away, they use for the exteriors of Hawkins High. And you can see it looks almost identical down to this door frame right there and this sticker. There would have been a bike rack right here. And take a look up here at the baseball field lights, which are also seen in this screenshot. That is freaking rad. One of those school buses would have been parked right here and the kids would have been walking in these doors. And the crazy thing is, look inside the paint scheme the yellow, green, and I guess that orange look exactly the same. And even the lockers are the same lockers from the show right there. They've painted them back to blue, but originally these were yellow and there was a bike rack right here. The kids dropped their bikes off, started walking this way, and the bullies turned the corner right here on this little concrete slab. Step right up. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Step right up to the freak show. Students would have been walking into school and there's that famous shot with the water tower and the Hawkins Middle School sign would have been stationed right there. So cool. Been driving for about another half hour or so and we're just about to our next destination. Oh yeah, this looks super, super familiar. I parked my van on this little residential street and it's kind of ironic because there's a famous scene that happened right here involving vans that resembles very similar to a throwback and homage to E.T. The way the scene starts off, Lucas rides his bike coming this way, passes these houses and rides straight down this way, meeting the other kids who come out of this driveway and they start heading that way. Eleven uses her powers to make one of the vans completely flip over. Don't flip my van, man. Please, my van does not need to be flipped. How amazing would it be if I got a nosebleed though, just randomly? The kids are riding their bikes this way. All of a sudden the vans turn that corner and they're chasing them right down to the bottom of this little hill. Once they get towards the bottom of the hill, another van comes out from that little driveway. Whoop, there's a random dog running through here. And as the van approaches the kids, you never know what's gonna happen. And then all of a sudden, the famous van flip bah! happened. Here comes the dog. He's following us. His owner's calling him right now. Go home, Max. I'm kind of blown away by this right now. This was the exact spot that the van flew through the air, right up here, above their heads. And you'll notice there is a new school looking satellite dish. In the show, they transferred it and made it look like a 1983 satellite dish. But look how the houses look exactly the same. Watch out for that van, Tyler. There's a van flipping over your head. You gotta sell it. You gotta sell it. You did it, Tyler. You just recreated one of the greatest scenes from Stranger Things. Driving down the exact road that the van would have flipped, and the van would have flipped right up there. So three, two, one, flip. We didn't flip. Well, I wasn't trying hard enough with my mind powers. That's true, you weren't. I know, I was kind of distracted by how humid it is outside. Why is there an Area 51 Presents bus 
on the side of the road. Now heading into Emory University for the next spot. You might recognize this one. Don't look now, but right over there is Hawkins National Lab. The creepy place from the show that's off limits. And this gate is open. We're driving in. Whoa, this is crazy. Look at this. There it is, dude. Stranger Things. That's where it all happened. That is definitely cool. We're not supposed to be down here, but it's cool to just check it out from a distance. A respectful distance. The neighborhood we're in is where Lonnie lives, who is Jonathan Byers' father. And the house can only be seen a couple of times in one episode. I think it's right down here. It's cool because in that episode, you can see this train sitting on the train tracks. And right up here on the left-hand side is the house. And that's it right there with that little awning. That's Lonnie's house, 930. And the residents in this area, not real happy about you driving through and filming their house. So. We are making our exit. Over behind that tree line is a huge quarry that was used in the movie. Unfortunately, it is very fenced off. They will not let anyone on the property. That is where the drone that is inside there comes in. I'm basically going to fly it over the trees, over these power lines, and get an aerial view of the quarry to show basically some of the like epic scenes from Stranger Things were filmed in this quarry where he jumps off and then Eleven brings him back, elevates him back up to the side of the cliff. All that was in this quarry. Thank goodness for the Majestic. Benny's Burgers. You can see it looks pretty similar to how it did. Of course, the sign up there on the awning has changed from Tiffany's to Benny's Burger in the show. But this is basically where the police arrived to check out the body, the dead body inside. I got some fried okra, mashed potatoes and gravy, chicken fried steak. Tyler got the same thing. And you know where we are right now, right, Tyler? I'm familiar. We're actually eating inside the diner where a lot of scenes happened, including the table that was sitting right here. Remember the scene where Eleven was sitting right there chowing down on the burger? How could I forget? And then also what happened right there is Benny was found dead right there at that spot. And you could see the, the little entryway into the kitchen. Now the table that is sitting in the spot is not the table they use for filming. The table they use for filming is tucked away over there in the corner. But you can see the chairs are exactly the same and the table is the same as well. Looks like they just moved the table from one spot to the next. And as she was being chased, Eleven would have busted through these doors, down this hallway, took a left, and then ran outside. And if you look closely in those scenes, you'll notice that these drapes are exactly the same. The exit sign is the same. And this coat rack right here. Around the back is the side door, which was seen a couple times when Benny was emptying out the trash over here, as well as when Eleven runs out runs back into the woods, which is where originally she stepped out of. As you walk behind the diner into the woods, basically what they did is they set the camera up right here from this angle. And the really interesting fact is you can see these exact branches in the shot as they are giving you the perspective of her walking out of the woods. That is amazing. Here's a fun fact. The girl that rang up our order in there has never seen the show. And this empty building here played the part of the police station. In fact, the flagpole is still here. You can still see where the police station emblem was right there on the side. Look at this, the indentation is still there and even cooler than that look you can see where the sticker was designating this the police station look that is a badge just like a a sheriff badge well there's one more giveaway adam oh up here do you see this sign on the door holy cow yeah look at that 
It says cast only knock. And it's really hard to see as well, but there was lettering here on the wall that said City of Hawkins, Indiana. You could faintly see it in the wall. And they still have the nails that held the sign up right here on the side of the wall. Hopper would have pulled right up, parked in front, and walked through those doors. He walks in this door that is locked, but as he walks in, you will see on the wall there, there used to be a water fountain that was basically a prop for the show. They removed the water fountain, and that window you see on the left, that was where the secretary's office was. He walked a couple more feet, took a left, and he went to the main area of the police station. He was on the other side of this wall, walked right by these windows, picture him on the inside, stood right by this pillar inside there, got a cup of coffee, and as he was walking out, he delivered that famous line, mornings are for coffee, contemplation. The sign that said police was right across here. This awning has been added since then. And then over in the corner, there's another one of the emblems. You can see the discoloration in the brick. There was another emblem right here on the far left corner of the building. Pretty good stuff. Hey, wait, Adam, actually, there's one more thing you missed. One last little piece of hopper that we haven't looked at yet. Shaka ga ga gung gung. He was here. He was here. And look at that sunset. Very beautiful. Sufficient enough to say, vlog over.